Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Viewers of Coronation Street are positive that Joel Deering has passed away after what appears to be two significant clues from Lauren Bolton. Justice was about to be served for the evil attorney who had participated in horrific acts and grooming. His fall from grace started earlier this year when it was revealed that he was Lauren Bolton's secret boyfriend. Joel was shocked by her sudden pregnancy-related return to Weatherfield after she vanished and was subsequently thought to be dead. Lauren became pregnant after it was discovered that Joel had been paying her expenses and showering her with gifts in exchange for sex. After that, Joel kept Lauren safe in his apartment while he made arrangements to take her to Belfast. He was observed giving the girl a medication that caused early labor in their kid Frankie, who is currently struggling for his life in the hospital. In a tragic turn of events, fans of Corey Witness DS Lisa Swain and D.D. Bailey closing in on Joel last week as they ascertained who was the center of the drug package that drove Lauren into early labor. Joel, however, firmly denied any misconduct when he willingly went in for questioning, according to the Liverpool Echo. Only on Friday's episode, owing to a confession from her daughter Betsy, did Swain manage to finally corner Joel. In a further twist of events, Joel's financial transfer left Lauren speechless in this Wednesday's Corey episode. It was first unclear to Lauren and DD why Joel had paid them so much money, but it quickly became clear that Emily, Joel's former partner, had also gotten a sizable payment. Lauren has been advised by DD not to handle the suspicious money out of concern that it might be a ruse to get her involved in illicit activities. Lauren, meantime, has been acting as a detective, acknowledging that she has been monitoring Joel with a tracker that has shown his previous haunts, which include a warehouse and some foreboding woodland. Viewers are now buzzing with thoughts over Joel's strange behavior. A perceptive admirer posted on X, speculating, Joel is dead and buried. He was at a warehouse and a field, buried, according to Lauren's app. Before he was killed, he was forced to send money to Lauren and his ex-wife. I suppose this meant that another fan of Corey thought, Uncle Stephen, Pat Phelan, Richard Hillman, Clayton, and now our lovely Joel deserve better. A thought-provoking tweet said, Joel in an industrial estate and farm, buried corpses or buried evidence? After learning upsetting news about her son from Lauren Bolton, the mother of baby Frankie, viewers of Coronation Street voiced concern for the little child. The child's adolescent mother took drugs in an effort to either induce labor or result in a miscarriage, which led to the baby's early birth. As viewers of the ITV soap opera are aware, Joel Deering, who had been covertly housing Lauren in his apartment upon her pregnancy return to Weatherfield, was the one responsible for this heinous deed. Kate Fitton's character Lauren had mysteriously vanished in February after receiving a visit from an anonymous character, whose identity was never disclosed to the public. Before Joel's role in Lauren's alleged murder became clear to viewers months later, Roy Cropper was charged with her murder. After he was spotted hitting Lauren Bolton with a chair leg, it came to light that he was her secret boyfriend, the reason behind her absence, and the prime suspect in her murder. Until July, when Lauren made a reappearance to see a sick Roy Cropper, who had recently been freed from prison on suspicion of Lauren's murder, it was unclear if Lauren was still alive. But as viewers saw at the time, Joel confronted her in the hospital, resulting in a heated argument and the revelation of their relationship's reality. The Manchester Evening News claims that it was discovered that Joel had been paying Lauren's bills in exchange for sex, which caused her to become pregnant with his child. Joel was able to scare Lauren into running away again, but before Dee Dee Bailey and Bethany Platt found her in a squat, they rushed her to the hospital for an examination. Lauren lived in Joel's apartment upon her discharge from the hospital, promising herself a new beginning in Ireland. But Joel bought some drugs and gave them to Lauren, who then went into labor and gave birth to their baby. Joel is currently making every effort to avoid being discovered by D.S. Swain, who is working with his ex-fiancee D.D. Bailey to bring him to his knees, for grooming Lauren. Watchers witnessed Swain and D.D. closing in on Joel on Wednesday night's, September 18th, episode of Corey as they discovered who had delivered the package of medicines that precipitated Lauren's early labor. Joel firmly denied any guilt, though, when he willingly came in for interrogation. Swain was upset by this since she is determined to expose Joel's wrongdoing after learning about his relationship with her daughter Betsy. But given her troubling statement to friend Sabrina, her teenage daughter might be the key to what transpired. 
Joel, in the meantime, hurried to the hospital and started yelling at Lauren, saying she couldn't be trusted and that she was attempting to hurt their child. Joel also claimed that Lauren was aware of Frankie's illness. Doctors discovered a brain bleed on the adolescent after he had a seizure. Joel's tantrum upset the teenager, and in the end, the nurses had to take him out of the building. Then, after Joel's most recent disruptive visit to the hospital, Max Turner stopped her and Swain's supper at the bistro with her daughter Betsy, asking that Swain do something to help Lauren. Viewers of Coronation Street are wondering if Joel Deering is dead after Lauren Bolton appeared to give away two things regarding the wicked attorney's future. The solicitor is expected to suffer consequences for his violent crimes and grooming. Joel's fall from grace started earlier this year when it was revealed that he was Lauren Bolton's secret boyfriend. Joel, however, was shocked by her sudden pregnancy-related return to Weatherfield after she vanished and was subsequently thought to be dead. It was out that Lauren became pregnant as a result of Joel, Callum Lil, paying for her expenditures and showering her with gifts in exchange for sex. After that, Joel let Lauren stay in his flat and made plans to send her to Belfast. Unsettlingly, he was observed giving the young girl a medication that led to early labor and delivery of their son, Frankie, who is currently struggling for his life in the hospital. D.S. Lisa Swain, Vicky Myers, and D.D. Bailey, Shanique Sterling Brown, who were investigating who had sent the bag of medicines that caused Lauren to go into labor early, were seen closing in on Joel last week, as fans of the soap opera Corey watched. Joel firmly denied any guilt, though, when he willingly showed up for an interview, according to the Liverpool Echo. Not until Swain eventually captured Joel, thanks to her daughter Betsy's confession, was that possible. Joel surprised Lauren with a £5,000 bank transfer in Wednesday's Corey episode, which was another unexpected development. The antagonist's decision to send money baffled Lauren and Dee Dee, but the plot took a turn for the worst when it became clear that Joel had also sent £5,000 to Emily, his ex-wife. Dee Dee warned Lauren not to use the money because she thought it might be a ruse to get her into legal hot water. Lauren also revealed that she had traced Joel's movements and found that he had visited a warehouse and a forest. Fans of Corey have speculated about Joel's unusual behavior, wondering if he orchestrated his disappearance or even committed himself in light of his legal issues. Enthusiastic viewers have been exchanging theories about X. A fan conjectured, Joel is deceased and interred. He was at a field and a warehouse, according to Lauren's app. Before he was killed, he was forced to provide money to Lauren and his ex-wife, my assumption is that this could have been A. Another quietly put forth suggestion was, Uncle Stephen, Pat Phelan, Clayton, Richard Hillman, and now our dear Joel deserve better. One viewer made the following prediction, Joel is going to fake his own death. Joel in an industrial estate and field. Buried bodies or evidence, an inquiring fan said.